This is Baghdad's famous Al Mutanabbi Street, known to many as the heart and soul of the city's cultural scene. Thousands gather here on Fridays to browse for books. Through unrest and economic hardship, the street's book market has endured. Ali has been running his stall for years. Because this street is seen as a traditional street, there's an audience for books, but we don't see many buyers. Still, if we compare this book market to other markets in the city, it's considered successful. The street is also home to the iconic, century-old Shahbandar Cafe, where people from all walks of life come to chat, sip tea or read the newspaper. For its most faithful clients, the cafe is an integral part of Baghdad's intellectual life. I used to come to this cafe before it became a cultural forum. Now it's more than 101 years old. It's become a forum and a gathering point for intellectuals. And in fact it's also a school for intellectuals of all ages and from different academic levels. On the banks of the nearby Tigris River stands one of the world's oldest clock towers. A recently renovated Ottoman military site, the Kushla has become a popular spot for poetry readings and concerts. For saxophonist Ahmad, it's one of the few places where he can play his instrument. My goal is to send the message that Iraq is doing well, that it has talented people, intellectuals and musicians. Despite the wars and the difficulties, our voices will never be silenced. Iraq has been shaken by months of unrest, as tensions with its autonomous Kurdish region have soared and Iraqi forces pressed their assault on the Islamic State group. But here, on Al-Mutanabbi, the spirit of music and culture remains.